This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, May the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we're going to just jump right into it this morning since it looks like after all that severe weather yesterday, we could have some severe weather around central Alabama today. Here's the uh, Storm Prediction Center's outlook for severe weather for today, and it includes a slight risk all the way in a band from New Orleans all the way up to about Buffalo and Burlington, Vermont, Buffalo, New York, and Burlington, Vermont, including places like Birmingham, Nashville, Knoxville, Louisville, uh, uh, most of Kentucky, just you can see, just a huge, huge area. Now, this is what happened yesterday, a number of tornadoes and uh, also uh, wind reports along with some damaging hail, but uh, tornadoes, 15 of those reported to the Storm Prediction Center. So uh, I don't think we're going to see quite as uh, strong a day today, but still going to be a rather active one. We have to our west uh, a uh, frontal system, and uh, what's been happening is the trough to our west has uh, been blocked by a large ridge over the southeastern U.S., and that has kept things rather stationary. That is, things are not moving that much. In the upper atmosphere, there's the trough out over Texas and New Mexico, and there's the ridge over the eastern coast, uh, the east coast of the United States. Now that ridge is finally going to break down, and with it, uh, we'll see this system finally begin to move. Here's the surface map, and you can see that just like uh, yesterday, when we got up yesterday morning, we had dew points in the upper 60s, and once again, it looks like we are in that particular situation. Temperatures generally uh, ranging from uh, the mid to uh, upper 70s this morning, so we're certainly very warm and very moist in the lower uh, portion of the atmosphere. There's a look at the radar composite over the the radar mosaic over the southeastern U.S. and you can see that uh, uh, of course the, there's very strong storms approaching Nashville. There's been a great deal of rain in addition to all the tornadoes and severe weather that's occurred. Uh, there's been on the order of uh, I believe 10 to 14 inches of rain over parts of uh, what I consider the Mid-South in, in the vicinity of uh, Memphis. All right, let's take a look at, uh, at uh, the, the uh, current thing. There is a tornado watch in effect that includes uh, part of northwest Alabama, but also notice all the flash flood watches. That's all the area uh, outlined in green. There's specifically the tornado watches that are in effect uh, at this particular uh, time this morning. There's also, uh, as you saw, the flash flood watches, and the reason for that, this is the one to two day total, and you can see that uh, it's predicting, the HPC guys are predicting on the order of uh, three and a half to uh, nearly five inches of rain over the southeast. Most of that expected to be in Alabama over the next uh, uh, 48 hours. And of course, with that, the National Weather Service in Birmingham has a flash flood watch through Monday evening. Uh, now let's get to the GFS uh, model run. This is uh, at 0Z tonight or, or this evening around 7 p.m. And you can see that the weather systems are still slow, but they've finally moved a bit away from Arkansas and over toward uh, the uh, Alabama and west, uh, eastern Mississippi area. Now let's look at some of the, the data that we have. Uh, the lifted index, the shear, um, pardon me, the instability does not appear to be quite uh, as significant as it was yesterday. However, I did note that uh, um, we are uh, looking at values there, as you can see, on the order of uh, a minus, uh, looks like on the order of minus uh, four values uh, down over southeastern Mississippi and southwestern Alabama. And that is, of course, the GFS forecast values. Here is uh, the precipitable water and uh, holy mackerel, yes, you can see why the HPC guys have uh, outlooked Alabama for a, uh, a large area of uh, rain or a large amount of rain for the next uh, 48 hours or so. Now, the, the thing that seems to be a little shy, at least in the forecast, now keep in mind this is based on model run, is, uh, is the, the CAPE or uh, the instability values. And indeed, uh, the CAPE doesn't seem to be all that significant. Now, I want to note that yesterday the CAPE values that were actually occurring were much higher than what was forecast. So uh, that's not just a really uh, big factor there. And here's also the energy helicity index, which... Of course, when you start getting values uh, one and above, that's a pretty uh, significant uh, possibility for severe weather. You can see the focus is primarily into the 
uh, eastern region, eastern sections of the Ohio River Valley. So anyway, we're uh, with with low level jets with uh, the trough beginning to uh, eject out, the ridge weakening a little bit. The the bottom line is we have the potential for all modes of severe weather across the southeastern U.S. and especially across Alabama and uh, northward into the Ohio River Valley for today. Now, this is the uh, GFS upper air map for uh, Monday, and you can see that the ridge is still holding pretty strong, but the whole trough is beginning to uh, weaken and eject out. Uh, and with that, of course, it looks like the weather system uh, by midday will be over into the eastern portions of Alabama and getting into Georgia. So uh, it should not be a really long-lived event for us uh, like they've had out there in the Mid-South area around Memphis. That is, it'll be at least, at least a little bit shorter for us. By Tuesday, there's a, a fairly vigorous short wave moving through the flow, and that may uh, help to enhance an isolated shower or two, but the bulk of the weather will be off to our east. And uh, by Wednesday, it looks like uh, the ridge has dampened out as that trough has finally pulled up into Canada. Uh, and it looks like the westerlies have pulled a little bit further north, and that should dry us out by midweek uh, from uh, precipitation. But we'll stay uh, relatively warm with highs in the lower uh, 80s. It looks like we continue that way through Thursday. The upper pattern stays pretty much uh, with the westerlies uh, fairly far north in the vicinity of the Great Lakes. Uh, however, GFS is suggesting that a frontal boundary will come down into the Ohio River Valley. Uh, and because of the high position, uh, GFS is suggesting that we might see some showers. Uh, I'm not sure I'm buying that. It just uh, It seems like with the high in the Gulf, the Gulf should be cut off a little more than that. And um, uh, yeah, we might see an isolated shower, but I'm just not into that a whole lot. By uh, fr uh, Saturday, it looks like still the westerlies are uh, to our north uh, around Chicago and the Great Lakes area. Uh, and so therefore, it does look like much of the weather will be around the Ohio River Valley. And I, I certainly like the look of this much better than the previous uh, forecast for Friday. And then a week from today, Sunday, uh, the ridge is beginning to build a little stronger back to our west. Uh, and with that, it again uh, looks like um, we stay relatively dry, except we just got to figure out exactly where that frontal system will be. Uh, with the westerlies further north, will the front actually get down into our area? And uh, once again, not sure that I really buy the front all the way down into our area. But We'll see. That's still out there a bit further. All right. Certainly appreciate you tuning into the Weather Extreme video for this Sunday morning. Sorry it's gone so long, but a lot to uh, discuss. I hope that you have a great day. By all means, be weather safe. And uh, James Spann should be back in the saddle once again Monday morning. And, of course, watch the uh, AlabamaWX.com, the Alabama weather blog, for the latest weather information. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.